I guess I don't have to clap. This is so weird. This is so weird. Does my hair look okay? Okay. Wow. Okay. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tom, also known as Hot Mess Tom. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to talk about something that no one else has been brave enough to talk about. That's not true. I'm sure someone else has talked about this. But I have affinity for Lux makeup. Some of the very first products I ever bought were Lux products. And there's one thing that is either very hit or very miss about Lux makeup, and it is the packaging. And when, when, you, when you think about it, it's like you're paying a lot of money for something. And of course, luxury makeup is not a necessity, and there's really crappy quality luxury makeup, and there's very amazing quality, worth your money luxury makeup. And then there's also the packaging that comes with it, because when you're paying for Lux, you're paying for an experience as well. And I think sometimes brands uh, forget that or just completely omit that from their game plan. Now, when I'm thinking about Lux makeup, I'm not thinking about innovativeness or ease of travel with Lux makeup because some of my favorite Lux makeup packaging I probably would never travel with because I like the way it looks too much and that might be a negative for some people but I'm going to walk you through some of my favorites and least favorite packaging that I have received Lux makeup in or that the way they packaged Lux makeup. So let's get into it. We're going to start with the good guys. We had to save the worst for last in this case. I just think it makes the most sense for you and me, right? That's why we're here. We love to be mean on the internet. But let's start with some good things. So the first product I have here, this is the Victoria Beckham Smoky Eye Brick. I have the Color Story Tweed. This is what it looks like. I actually think this is a pretty well thought out luxury product. It is clearly meant for a woman on the go. It's a very sturdy, very hefty, you can feel the weight of this product in your hands. It's nice and credit card compact and there's only four shades in it. Now, some people would complain that there's not separators in those shades. That's a fair enough complaint, but I don't find it to be a huge issue for me personally. And this is a, essentially my opinion. It's an opinion video, so you're welcome to agree or disagree with me. And it has a nice little mirror on here as well. And I think, ooh, Victoria really thought this out for like, this is a woman on the go. Another thing I think it's important to remember about Lux makeup in general is that Sorry, I keep checking. I have a new recording setup I'm trying. So we're just gonna see, we're really just seeing how it goes here. So this is my test run. So if everything looks weird, I apologize, I'm working. But I really think Victoria really thought about like a woman on a go, but still wants to have something that feels luxury. I think she really nailed that. This next product is from Westman Atelier. This is one of their highlighting sticks. Let me get the real name for you. Oh, lit up. <laughs> highlight stick. So very simple. And it comes in this beautiful packaging. So that's like one thing I'm always looking for is like, does the packaging look beautiful? There's a nice hefty weight to this as well. And the cap comes off, um, you know, I probably wouldn't throw this in my bag. The cap comes off pretty easily. It's just like, you know, a regular twist up situation, but there's a magnet in here in the, in the mechanism. And it just, there's something, here, I'm going to put it up to the mic. There's something very satisfying about this noise to me. Uh, this is a newer product to me, and I've been really enjoying the product itself. Um, but that's not what we're talking about. It's just, this packaging is so, it, there's just something very sleek about this. It's very chic. Tom Ford is one of those brands that I think is excessively expensive with, sometimes it doesn't feel like for any good reason. But these are my, these are some of my favorites. Part of, so this is a Tom Ford bronzer. This is the bigger size. They do come in a smaller size. The smaller size is probably more reasonable. What I like about this packaging, other than the fact that it is rounded, which I don't really care for because it makes it a little bit hard to store, the white is still shiny, but even because it's white, for whatever reason, you really can't see the, the fingerprints in it, but you can see reflection happening in it. And I appreciate that because I have a lot of shiny products, like shiny packaging of products that you can just see fingerprint city. The clasp opens not too easy, but easy enough where you're not fiddling with it. And you have, I want to show you the mirror here because like this mirror is, this mirror is something special. And then the size of the product 
is truly just satisfying. This is definitely like a gratuitous, it doesn't need to be like this, but it feels really good. I feel like the Marc Jacobs one feels similar, has a nice weight to it. It doesn't feel like it's going to break or chintzy at all, which is really what I'm looking for when I'm paying $112. I didn't pay full price. I got mine on guilt. This is another product that's newer to my collection. This is the Tom Ford Cushion Bronzer. Bronzer? Nope. This is the Tom Ford Cushion. This, <laughs> this is the Tom Ford Cushion Foundation. This is brand new in my collection. It's actually what I have on my face today. When I open this, something's going to fall out. The little thing. I don't know that I'm ever going to use this, but... Ooh, it's so pretty. That cluck, that clicking is so satisfying to me this whole compact the size of it it's a cushion compact so you're not really going to find like a sleeker thickness to a cushion compact which I think someone might complain about or some like I feel like that's the thing that people be like well that's a little bit bulky but it's satisfying it's like this was expensive it feels expensive it looks expensive like and that's like that's what I want right that's what I want when I'm paying money for it so I think this is like a really well done product packaging. This is my final Tom Ford product that I'm going to talk about. This is the eyeshadow quad. So this is definitely a lighter feel than the other two products, but it also has less of product in it. So it's just a regular quad. So I thought a lot about this. A, um, a lot of Lux makeup comes with the really small like sponge applicators and they want you to keep it in the product. I've thought a lot about this and I'm pretty sure that Lux makeup brands are marketing to someone who is not like a makeup lover like you or me who watches YouTube all the time. They're very much marketing to a, a clientele that has a lot of expendable income but isn't taking the time to learn how to do their makeup on the internet. So they're just assuming that these people who would buy this product would just want something very easy to put on their eyes. So the sponge applicator is like kind of a one and done deal and that's what they want just like a one eyeshadow look is very much the dream of someone who's like in the uh, in the market for something like these specifically so I do really like the packaging on it it does feel a little chintzier than the other two products that I just showed you I'm not gonna lie and considering it's an eyeshadow quad that's $88 <clears throat> I would like maybe just like a little more weight to it but there's nothing wrong with it but again do you see like the shiny fingerprint situation but I do prefer the mahogany ones to the, the, like, the silvery ones, but it's very pretty. It does feel good in the hands. It has, like, a nice size to it, and it just feels, it feels a little bit more expensive than other things. But we'll talk about an eyeshadow quad that I own that I don't care for. I'm going to talk about a few different lip products, and then we will move on to things that I don't care for. So this is from Shantikai. This is one of their lip veils, and, like, just look, oh my goodness, it's flashing you. Look how beautiful this outfit is. Sorry, it's just going to flash you. This little embossing here and then it has the name just beautifully there is the magnet enclosure that I am so obsessed with and this has a nice little weight to it it feels like an expensive lip product and I love that and I kind of like that it comes in the square shape but that's just like me like saying like I just kind of like that and that's not really important to the product or the way it works at all but you know sometimes you just like random things and that's a random thing that I like this is a Bobbi Brown Luxe uh, lip color. So it's in this gold, beautiful packaging. There's really no good way to show you without like really flashing you. There's a nice, nice weight to it. And there's a beautiful, I hope this will pick up on camera. Hopefully, don't, is that upside down? It's beautiful, like embossing on the top. It's just very Luxe feeling in the hands. And... I don't, like, I don't think Bobbi Brown, I don't consider it like a super luxe brand, but like this packaging, this makes it feel like it's a super luxe brand. The next person we're going to talk about, the next brand that we're going to talk about lands on both sides. She has her ups and she has her flaws. So we're going to talk about some Pat McGrath, Pat, Pat, McGrath, Pat McGrath packaging. This is one of her lipsticks. I'm sure you've seen these before. They have the lip little lip on the front. This has a nice weight to it. It looks special. It feels special. And I think like that's what I want out of it for sure. This next packaging, it it's it's inconvenient, but it's beautiful and it it feels like it costs money. And this is Pat McGrath's holiday highlighter. And I'm not talking about the product inside because I know a lot of people didn't get along with the product inside, but this packaging is something to behold. This is engraved in there. And then you twist it up 
and then the product is inside. So like I said, this isn't necessarily good packaging in the way that it's very functional, but it is nice packaging like, oh wow, you spent some money on this. And it has, when I say this is weighted, this is like truly weighted. And there's just, you just can't help but feel decadent when you are dipping into this highlighter. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about is Matt, Pat McGrath's Mothership palettes. I mean, these have a lot of weight to them as well. Not as much as that highlighter though. That highlighter is like truly something. And then you open it up and you have like a beautiful large mirror and just like 10 beautiful pans. And then the front has the logo on it, real beautiful. And then the back has this like gold plate on it. Just everything about this feels expensive. Now it's arguable whether or not anyone should charge $125 for 10 eyeshadows, but that's a decision you need to make. I'm just talking about the experience of having it and they look good when you're not using them. And I just think this like kind of lives up to the kind of packaging I want when I'm buying expensive makeup. Wow, I should have wiped these off, but I didn't. So I'll... so the next two products I'm gonna talk about like together, they're like a hybrid where a brand had one version of packaging and then they changed it. And so Miss Mother is gonna be the first one we're talking about. Pat McGrath started releasing these eyeshadow quads in the holiday season for the past couple holidays. So I have, this is the one the first go, and then this one's from the second go. The first thing you notice is on the good one, it has the gold plating like the Mothership has, and then this one is black. Another thing is when you open this one, it like opens real nice all the way, the way you need it to open. And then this one only opens this far <laughs> like you can push it open but it feels like it's gonna break if you push too far so like that's about as open as you can get it it just and the price did change from the first year to the second year and I'm wondering if that has more to do with the packaging but the product inside it is also different so um, like this one has the pigments in it and this one definitely just has eyeshadows in it so that's something to know but that has nothing to do with the packaging this one it clips down and you're like, I feel expensive. This one clips down and it's like just not the same. And yeah, like, do you hear it? Like, listen, cheap, expensive. There's a difference. I hope you can hear it on the button. So next I'm gonna talk about a brand that I don't think a lot of people talk about on YouTube, but it's Burberry. And um, I've had a long love affair if you've been on my channel at all with this Burberry Warp Glow Number One Bronzer. I love the packaging of it. You get the traditional Burberry like tweed, not the Burberry plaid uh, that they're so well known for. And this one has a nice weight to it. You open up, you get a ton of product and you get a nice mirror in there. This one's like very old, so it's been through some things, but I do love it. And I also recently bought this, which is a bronzing, blushing highlight palette. So just a, a, a complexion palette, a face palette. I don't know what I for, I like forgot words. So this one opens up, you get a nice amount of product in there. But what I will tell you is that while they look very similar, this one has more weight to it and it feels more expensive. And this one just feels a little bit chintzy, which is unfortunate because I kind of wanted it to feel just the same as this but it didn't really live up to my expectations. There's nothing particularly wrong with this packaging. It is just like when a brand changes something like this, it's definitely noticeable and I'm watching you guys. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna get to packaging that I like truly hate. Lux packaging that is very expensive that I like do not like, full stop. I'm gonna pick on a brand that I've recently started enjoying. So I need you to know that I enjoy the products. However, uh, I don't care for this packaging. So this is from Shantikai. It is the butterfly eye quad. When you look at it, yes, this butterfly image on the front is very pretty. And then you get the beautiful name embossed on the front. So I've seen a lot of people use this. I, I, I follow some bougie people here on YouTube. It is what it is, Michelle Wong. And I watch Teresa's Dead and they both like Shantikai. So I see a lot of their product come through their collections. And this always like really sparked my interest, right? It's so pretty. I thought it was gonna feel like some heaviness to it, but no, it's kind of just like, I don't know how if that's a good display of how light it is, but like, I'm not very strong. So like, it's very light. <laughs> I'd be going slower if it was heavy. And then another thing, like this is getting picky and it's like kind of more about the product is that 
I think this retails for more than $18 doll hairs, um, but I do have a pro discount that I got them off of from a website. So anyway, that's beside the point. It's 80 doll hairs, and then you get these teeny tiny little eyeshadows in here. So there's like a lot of wasted space in here. It's just like, it could be smaller if you're only gonna sell a quad, make it smaller because the money's definitely not going to the packaging. Uh, I do know that like Shantakai donates a lot of money and does a lot of charitable things with your money. But like, let's just, just let's use a little bit of that money for just like, you know, some sleeker packaging. And not that this isn't like super sleek, it just like doesn't feel luxe to me. Speaking of Shantakai, <laughs> speaking of Shantakai, speaking of Shantakai, not living up to my uh, expectations, this is one of their blushes. It is, first of all, itty bitty, but that's neither here nor there, right? I don't need a lot of blush because I it's going to take me forever to use up a blush. That's fine. This is the chintzy. It's like so chintzy. It doesn't feel luxe. It looks like it's dented, but that's just the way that it's packaged. Like that's how it's supposed to look. And it looks like, does this look like it costs $50? No, it doesn't feel like it costs $50. However, when you open the product up, you get the beautiful logo going down the sides here. And obviously it's beautifully embossed. There was an overspray on it, but I have worked my way through that already. That's okay. I don't need like the glitter overspray. Like that wasn't why I bought it. I just wanted to try it. I have this blush on now. I actually really like the blush. I like the product a lot, but this packaging though, it is not it. Let's talk about mother again. I don't want to, I don't want to bash on her too hard, but we have some we have some problems here. There's been quite the evolution with her six pan palettes. I'm going to talk about, I don't remember when this one came out. I don't know if this was a holiday release or if this was its own thing, but this is the Mothership Sublime Golden Opulence palette. So it comes in like a trifold. So you open up one side, you open up the other side, and then this is as far as the mirror goes. And then when I let go, it does that. So when you're putting on your eyeshadow, you have to open it up every time. It is extremely frustrating. And she has had packaging like this before. I have the La Vie en Rose palette, which is very simil similarly shaped to this. However, it doesn't have like this cardboard's a little bit stiffer and it that one's not nearly, that one's also frustrating to use, but this one's a real problem. It seems like the six pan palettes have moved to just like a flip up top. And I appreciate that because this packaging is garbage. Like this is not good. This was not good. It's beautiful. But this one, like the function part, truly, truly got to me. The next three Pat McGrath, three Pat McGrath products I have all kind of fall under the same problem. They feel chintzy. This is the blurring powder and it is just like a plastic, no weight to it, baked powder. This is like clear, like Claire's makeup would come in something like this. It doesn't feel expensive. And then these single eyeshadows all suffer from like chintzy. It feels like they're going to break. Now, I'm, I'm, I think the powder, I'm going to give a little bit more of a pass because I think the assumption is that you get sweaty throughout the day. You want to touch up with the powder. So maybe you're throwing that in your bag. You don't want to throw something heavy in your bag and carry it around. I can follow that. But what about this? Why is this like this? I don't understand. These kits, like the kits that this came in were so expensive. And the other thing is, I would like for this to come back permanently in her line, like these pigments that she did. However, one, I don't know that that's ever going to happen, but two, like if she does, like she's going to have to figure out new packaging. And the single shadows, I honestly wish she just, they would have been like pro pans and I would have been able to just put them in my pan because, um, these shadows are too soft to depot, and like this packaging is, isn't it. It's really chintzy. It opens really easy, so it's not like you could even throw it in your bag. Like there's no magnet or clasping function to it. It's just not good. It's not good. Two more products that I want to talk about. This is from Hourglass. This is just a general case for Hourglass. I just happened to pick this product. This is the Dim Light Powder. These look like they're heavy and they're expensive, but they are in fact very flimsy feeling. Now, this one definitely clasps, so it does feel like it's secure when it's clasped, 
But like nothing about this after you get it in your hands and you own it like feels very luxury. Uh, like it has like a nice size to it, which, you know, it does feel nice to feel like you're getting a larger size of product when you're paying so much for it. However, like, I don't know. This just like, this packaging isn't it. It looks expensive until you like pick it up. And it's just, it just has no, no weight to it. It just doesn't feel good. It just doesn't feel good. I don't like it. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about, this isn't about this specific product because she's packaged other things like this before, but this is the Natasha Dona. I have the Metropolis palette. So this is one of the palettes that has like the foam insert. I don't know how else to describe it, but it feels like foam or like, yeah, like foam. I don't know what else to describe it. So I, this palette's very new to me, so I, I haven't made a mess of it, but I have had the Sunset palette, which had a similar packaging with the foam. And it gets messy. It gets messy and you cannot clean it. And whenever you've had the palette, I'm not saying for a long time, and I, I, the product will start to sweat. The metallic shades, the, the, like the shiny shades sweat a little bit, right? And you'll see the condensation like appear around those pans. It's like not, this is not cute. Like I realize that sometimes shimmers sweat, but like it just like, in this pan, like, oh, it's like so gross. It's so gross. And um, this package is a little bit better because you can depot these really easily and throw them into a magnetic palette if you don't like this packaging. I just like don't have a magnetic palette to hold this many shadows right now because I have I have one big magnetic palette that has all my Cleona shadows in it and I depotted some other palettes. So this one's gonna live in this packaging for the foreseeable future, but it's just, it just doesn't feel very luxe. I mean, there, yes, it feels great to be holding this many expensive eyeshadows in my hand. However, it like doesn't feel like I'm holding something that expensive. Yeah, there's some like girth and thickness to it. I don't know, it doesn't even feel like it's like makeup artist friendly. It just feels, because if someone opened this up and it was like filthy inside and you can't clean it, like that's not gonna look good to your client either. So that it's just, I don't know. And I don't really like her plastic packaging either. And I specifically don't like her mini packaging because it's like, it looks real cheap. My rant is over. Please let me know in the comments if you have any packaging gripes, even if it's drugstore brand, because I feel like, you know, you can have gripes about whatever because we can choose to have gripes about things. Also, please remember that this was all in like good fun and I chose to pay for these products, so it is what it is. I know I don't have to spend this much money on makeup and I know that spending this much money on makeup doesn't make the makeup quality better. Anyway, if you liked hearing me talk, I have two podcasts with my friend Tiffany. It Bears Repeating is your pop culture expansion pack and, and we just started a bracket series on Marina and the Diamonds, Marina, and we are going through all of her song catalog and we are doing it tournament style, battling it out to try to figure out which song is her best. We also have a series on Britney Spears coming up and I'm in amidst a Kate Bush series Series, so that's all very good. I would like to say we do deep dives on nouns, <laughs> pop culture nouns. And then um, we also have Recollect, which is a Patreon only podcast. We do four times a month. So you get four episodes for $3. And then we look at music charts of the past and we talk about whether or not those songs are still good. Our next episode, I'm putting a little twist on it. We normally talk about the Billboard Hot 100, but I'm going to do a TRL Top 10. So it should be a lot of fun. I would love to have you there. If not, above anything else, if you like me, subscribe to this channel. That would be very cool. I'm on Instagram at Hope Mess Tom. Oh my God, these outros, so much words. <laughs> if you want to see more, see me. That's where I am. That's just social media. That's the internet, baby. I appreciate you so much for watching. I would really love to hear about your packaging gripes in the comments down below. And I would like to see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Nouns. <laughs> we, do, we do pop culture deep dives on nouns.